Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video I'm going to take you through the seasonal reports on the US dollar and what we could be expecting through the month of April. Obviously we're coming to year um, month end um, so we usually see some adjustments in the markets and what I want to do is kind of plan ahead and see what we could see for April. Now typically April isn't a great month for the US dollar. Here I have the yearly heat map and if I just grab the US dollar index out of here and highlight the year to you, its worst performing month is usually the month of April with the sort of British pound, the Australian dollar, Canadian dollar performing very well uh, during this month. So the US dollar index is suggesting that in the month of April that it is its biggest losing month. Okay, so that tells us that there could be a potential for the US dollar to start falling uh, through the month of April. So what other factors are coming into play to decide whether that could be a possibility? Well, if I bring on the strength and weakness just for the US dollar, so I've isolated the US dollar currency, what can we see? Well, price is currently at the plus six area. This is usually a typical reversal zone coming into um, for the US dollar. And what I would usually look for at this point is for the market to start showing a little bit of weakness. That allows us to then jump onto some dollar weakness trades. If we look at what happened to sort of the end of December, start of January, the market was very weak for the US dollar and we started to see this bottoming out. It started to sort of curve up that sort of first week of um, January or the sort of second week into January. And if we look at that second week into January on the US dollar index, it was pretty much around about here. Okay. Now the market at this point was showing us that there was a bottoming out in the market. Okay, we had a little bit of a rally up, it came back down, it retested that sort of uh, supply zone in here, and we've been shooting higher ever since that retest. So we can see that the strength and weakness here suggested that the market would likely uh, rally to the upside. What happened was we had a huge buying into the market around this area down here. The reason why we know there was demand here is because the market turned quite aggressively and moved to the upside. Price then came back. What does it do? Find support in that demand zone and we've been rallying up ever since. So could we look at the same thing? Where is the supply for the US dollar and uh, where could we look for an opportunity? Well, looking at this weekly time frame, buyers really started stepping into the market, uh, sorry, sellers started to step into the market through this area here. So if the market usually finds a top in April and the strength and weakness is showing us that the market is in a potential reversal zone, we may get an opportunity if price was to come up into this area, we may have an opportunity to start looking for dollar bearishness. Now, what I would really wait for is for the dollar to reach this level on a weekly time frame and reject it on a weekly time frame. If the market rejects this on a weekly and gives us a very nice bearish close or whatever to suggest that the sellers were coming back into the market at this point, this could be an opportunity for the market to push lower. What's also nice about this is the fact that the weekly is actually you know downtrending. Okay, so that to me would be a pullback into an interesting level of resistance for a continuation of the overall weekly downtrend that we see here. Okay, so really interesting stuff on the dollar index. Keep your eye on this seasonal potential play. Keep your eye on the weekly time frame. I think there's a little bit more to go before we see that weakness come through, but we'll see what happens in the coming weeks. Thanks for watching. Speak to you soon.